Hey YouTubers, what a beautiful day. A bit cold, but that's all right by me. Uh, it warmed up there a lot sooner than I had anticipated. Uh, I wasn't really quite ready for it. We had about a week of uh, nice weather and the sap was flowing well, I'm sure, but I had nothing tapped, unfortunately. But that's all right, it's only a week. So it's today's Monday now. Monday, March 18th, I think. Anyway, we're out here getting ready to tap. Anyway, it's uh, about 1.45 in the afternoon. I finally got my stuff in the mail today. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's here anyway. So this morning I made up my drop lines. I'll show you one here. So it's green tube this year. That's the tap. And the other end, we got our T, as you can see, hopefully. So anyway, I made up about 35 of those. I don't know, don't think I'll get them all in today. Might do a few. I've got the blue line here. I'm gonna use for the lateral line, and then the green is just for drop line, unless I run out. I got uh, another 350 feet of green that I can use if I need to. Uh, my local store, the co-op that sells the tapping supplies, I bought them out of uh, 516th line. One roll, that's about all they had. I think must bring in two rolls, one they cut up for people wanting little bits and then they save one and I bought this one they saved, so anyway, I don't know if they got any more in or not, but <clears throat> these are the saddles here. I don't want to I only got it about half an hour, but uh, this is the saddle that goes on the main line. This will open up. I can't open it with one hand. Actually, it is open. This will open up and slide over the pipe, and you see the hole. I gotta drill a hole right there. That slides in it, and then you tighten it up, and you put your lateral line on like that. So, <clears throat> I've got a few of those. I don't know. Maybe I bought maybe 25 or something like that. You can hear I have the cold, so that's a real bonus too. I just love that. Um, but anyway, the frame is full of hot water. And I got my tapping bit in my pocket. The tapping bit is a uh, 1964s. First year actually using one of these. I never bought an actual tapping bit before, so we'll see how it works. Just a little different than a regular one. And I've got a 516th drill bit. Just a regular drill bit <clears throat> for those saddles. I think that should work. I, I don't think it matters how tight it is anyway to that little hole inside because the hole inside is rubber. So I don't think it has to be dead accurate anyway. So I'll show you guys quickly my pump setup. Here. Of course I got one hand so I latch one side and the other one comes off. Comes latched in. So there it is. I had big plans for a manifold where I could divert the sap like another line coming into the bottom of my tank back in through up and out then having to tee off again to another line where i could like unload the sap tank into five gallon buckets or whatever but that didn't work out for me i kind of had to give up on that the fittings i bought were all oh, just i don't even want to get into it but anyway so i got this here is my tank it's a 55 gallon drum that i cleaned out <clears throat> just put a lid on it just to keep the big stuff out but uh, it's got a, another line going into it there that you can see it's a quarter inch ah, I gotta tighten this too I forgot to bring wrenches but this is just a needle valve the idea of this is that it'll suck sap from that in that quarter inch line come back down through and it'll recirculate it back through the pump you see it's teed into the line going in here and I've got a needle valve here where I can adjust the flow on it so the idea of that is uh, the pump flows better when it's wet 
Like it doesn't flow as good when it's dry. So adding the recirculation line to it will always keep it wet and it'll pull more vacuum. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I had intended to bring another barrel out here and set that up higher so that it'd be more of a straight line through. And I might do that yet, but I tried it the other day with just <clears throat> some water and it was having no trouble pushing the water up through that clear hose up into the barrel. So it might be all right yet. Uh, there's a vacuum pressure gauge at the other end to read vacuum on it. I should put one on this end too. And I might yet, maybe right here, else I got to put another zip tie in anyway. I'll just cut it and put a T in it and put a gauge on it. I have another gauge anyway. So anyway, <clears throat> the battery's gonna sit right here. And I got my controller zip tied to this tree, which you can't really see very well in the sun. But uh, it's got a, a temperature controller and a battery percent meter and just some fuses there. So that was kind of interesting making that. There's a, a relay on it to run the pump too. The, uh, <coughs> there's a relay built into this temperature controller, which I think I take the cover off to be able to see it. There we go. So there's a relay built into this here, but I decided I didn't want to use it like a 10 amp or something like that which should be enough to run the pump because the pump is on a 10 amp fuse and I realize later on but uh, I put it on a bigger relay and uh, it doesn't hurt should save that controller but anyway yeah I gotta get it tapping here I only got a little bit of time left so I want to get as much done as I can well there's a learning curve to this way I can tell you that so I got my drop lines there and my tubing I wish I had some kind of a reel for it. I don't wish I thought of that. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It won't be too bad if I had someone here helping me uncoil it, but I'm trying to pull it myself, it makes a bit of a mess. So I got my saddle on the main line here. You can see it running off here. So I sloped it all down from there. And I just made like an L shaped to catch these, I don't know, what are they, four trees? One, two, three four yeah so yeah the drop lines are all like a set length i cut them off three feet so there's quite a bit of extra i don't want to cut them off so i kind of just wrapped it around the tree that one there looks all right this one here it, well i should have drilled it higher is the problem it goes down but then it goes up again but i was reading online there um it didn't matter what side of the lateral that the drop line was on. Oops, I dropped that again. It said that you could put it, you could put the tap down here and run it up and it would work just the same. So hopefully my little sag there doesn't affect it too much. This one here is kind of the same way it goes down. So it's just a matter of drilling them high enough, which is going to become a problem when we get down further. Not that there's that many trees, but like the main line here is below shoulder height on me. And up here I've got it. Well, I tapped this tree probably seven and a half feet off the ground. So, yeah, you know, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how much slope you need on the laterals. I just kind of put some on it with the level. Just winging it. But anyway, I hooked it around this tree and then hooked it around that tree so it's you know it's fairly tight it's not outrageous I don't want to pull the fittings apart <clears throat> these T's aren't there's there's no hole in it at least there shouldn't be these ones here that's just to stick the hose back up at the end of the season I think the idea is so this one here turned out pretty good that was the last one I did I was happy with that. The first one I did, I, I don't know what happened, but, well, I do know what happened. I, I put this hook on, this is the hook at the end. It hooks back on your main line, to hook around the tree. I put this tap <coughs> too far down this way. I put it like where this one is, 
and it was pulling on this instead of that and it was just making a mess so I abandoned that idea shortened it up but yeah bit of a learning curve whatever not too bad that drill bit works amazing it drills crazy fast I gotta be careful I <laughs> don't just drive it right into the tree anyway this is all this here actually the main line's pretty low here it's actually ones but that'll just be a short little loop I think I gotta cut these zip ties too I don't know if the zip ties will last but I might have to put wire ties on it <laughs> this is new since yesterday it rolled up that way oh well anyway this is how I did my vacuum gauge I, hope it'll work. I put a yeah you can see that I put an elbow on the very end of the line with a adapter and a hose barb. And this here is a quarter inch uh, inside, three eighth outside. It's like rigid tubing. <clears throat> I put it down here to a gauge. So hopefully that works. I'm not sure. I think it doesn't, whatever. So well, this will be the last one. I'll probably put a saddle right here and we're just run it direct right to that tree which might be interesting because it's all the ground goes downhill or i can just put a bucket on it I don't know. we'll see <laughs> I, I could put a bucket on it and then put another tee off this here with a hose on it and just run it run it down when i want to empty the bucket and suck the sap into the bucket i don't, I don't know if that would work or not Oh, I gotta be careful walking here, it's all nice. So yeah, that was, uh, that was something. I'll have to come out here tomorrow, I guess, and just give her, I'll well, we get these tapped. Set, not really ready today, so that's, that's a good thing for me. I don't want it running in the trees are tapped. Yeah, so, I don't think I'm gonna tap those ones, they're not very big. There's a couple over there I gotta get. Anyway, just rambling. This tree here is probably gonna be a problem. Should get rid of that. I can still. Yeah, it's kind of sketchy. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Anyway, I'm gonna gather my stuff up and get back home because it's time to uh, feed the cows and stuff. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you in the next one.